So if you don't know who Oversampled is, he's this YouTuber that I watch time to time that makes music tutorial videos and other things like that. He also has a cooler banner than I do. Honestly though, if someone makes me a cool banner, I'll give you like 50 bucks. Is that fair? <laughs> Anyways, he made this lo-fi plugin and it looked kind of interesting. It looked neat. I guess you could say. So you know me, man, I'm pretty cynical with my money. So I was scrolling down and I was just like, yo, there's no price tag here. It's probably gonna be expensive, like 40 bucks or something. I'm not gonna pay if it's over $20. And I clicked and it was 15 bucks. So I bought it. I loaded it up into FL Studio. I put it on a sample and it was just like, <laughs> Then I read the uh, notes that he left and I was like, oh, you just gotta go in here and boom, now it, now it's all clean. So what do I think about it? It's so good. I was so sad when I thought I couldn't use the cassette features and now that it's fixed, I'm just so in love with this. The flutter is so nice at making things more interesting. I mean, I used to use the uh, MGS time warp but this is so much easier and has way less problems with volume. The down sample distortion sounds really nice around all pitches, which is something I kind of had a problem with the Serum FX. Putting it on samples, it just didn't sound as good. This sounds very clean and still has that nostalgia. I'd say the only thing I can think of that I would like on this is a pitch knob for the noise, but even then it doesn't really matter and I can just record it and pitch it myself, honestly. For 15 bucks, this is a 10 out of 10 plugin in my opinion. And the thing is, is I've never actually talked to Oversampled. He didn't ask me to make this video. He didn't pay me or anything. This is my honest, unbiased opinion on this. Just listen to how it transforms this melody. And this is the after. That small amount of downsampling and pitch bend was all it kind of needed. And it comes with a lot of cool presets as well. Take the piano for instance. Let's just throw on the digits preset. I even threw it on my hi-hats to kind of chill out the upper frequencies and make it a little bit more nostalgic. You can literally just throw it on anything in order to make it more interesting. In order to create these really cool delay bells, I took the melody after I used the down sampling and I pitched it up an octave and threw some delay on it. And then I removed the dry signal so that all that remained was the cool background effect for me to throw behind the song and I just moved it around. So yeah, that just kind of wraps up my opinion, man. It, it's goob. It's goob. It's so goob. It is great. Great job, Oversampled. I find this plugin to be very inspiring and enjoy using it. Consider following me on Patreon. For just $3, you can get access to every single preset that I've made, plus a bunch of extras you haven't seen behind the scenes. If you want to just pay the $3 and dip, there's no obligation. You can get access to everything I've created so far for just $3. I also have a Discord community where we can talk, drop samples, presets, and other cool things. Go ahead and come in and drop your music and see what other people have to say. Thanks for watching, guys.